Okay, I'm going to show you how to check the drive motor on the treadmill using a multimeter so we can see whether the drive motor is okay or not. Uh, so what I'm going to tell you refers to a domestic treadmill and a DC, permanent magnet DC motor specifically. Uh, if you've got any questions as to what yours is, give me a shout, but this, this is for a DC motor. So what I'm interested in is, is the motor okay? Uh, obviously if the treadmill is not running, you can't just switch it on and check the motor. We need to check it with a multimeter. The way to do that is to follow the red and the black wires to where they connect to this component here. Uh, we're gonna have to touch the wires, so what you must do is make sure the machine is disconnected from the mains. So pull the, pull the wire out, make sure the machine's dead. And then unplug the red wire and the black wire from the circuit board here and these wires go directly to the main drive motor and what you need is a multimeter this is a, a multimeter you can buy these from Amazon they're about well five pounds for a cheap one for the purposes of what we want we don't need anything fancy something cheap but what we want is a resistance range this is the ohms which is the omega symbol on the scale there so we're going to flick the meter onto ohms and we're going to put one probe in one wire. In fact, I'll tell you what, we'll put the red probe in the red wire and the black in the black wire. And I'm, I'm interested in what the result will be. If, if the motor's in good condition, we should get a value here. It should be a fairly low resistance. This is 1.7, 1.6 ohms. So you should get that, something like that. I mean, it might be 5 ohms, it might be 10 ohms. It depends on the motor. The point is you need to tell me what what your meter is saying or even shoot a shoot a video and i can interpret it that's no trouble i'm also interested in a second test so that's one test i want you to do let me know what your meter says the other test i want you to do is to remove one of the wires it can be the black one and attach the probe onto a bare bit of metal on your motor now on my motor this is all painted this is a label this is plastic that's plastic this is metal but it's painted but I can see a little bit of exposed metal here. So I'm just gonna scratch away a little bit of the paint in the corner there. Make sure I've got a good contact on my chassis of the motor. And I'm interested in what my meter says. And this meter says OL, which actually means out of limits. In other words, uh, there's no connection between my red and my black, uh, which on this motor is good. So I'm interested in what your, your meter says for those two tests. Let me just run through that again. It's the Test between the two wires, the red and the black. Tell me what your meter says. And then remove one of the wires and attach it to a bare bit of metal on the chassis of the motor. And again, tell me what your meter says. And that's it, let me know. Thank you. That's it. That's it.